Hey, Giovanni again from Two Down Gaming. If you're having this error right here on my screen, the driver UNC share you selected does not exist or is not accessible. Please select another. And you can't figure a workaround and you've looked up video after video, tutorial after tutorial, and nothing is helping. Stick around. We're actually going to solve it for once. I don't care if it's like I'm having here with OpenShot Video Editor. Uh, I had it with GIMP and GOG Galaxy, Epic Games Installer, Steam, whatever it is. It's generally caused when you remove an old hard drive that's become corrupt or, you know, whatever the case may be, or files have just simply gone missing and cannot be accessed anymore and you try to reinstall the app or program or whatever, and it's just trying to override itself, but it's no longer there because it can't be accessed on a drive that does not simply exist. And what most people do at this point is they think, okay, well, I need to uninstall it, right? So you go and you try to do, uh, not, that's not even right. Uh, there, add or remove programs. That's what I'm looking for. This is the first place everybody rushes to. You go here and you think, ah, oh, uninstall it, it'll be okay, correct? Well, when we come here, and we'll do the OpenShot video editor and tell it to uninstall. Oh, look! D colon OpenShot video editor does not exist. The system cannot find the drive specified because it's not there. But as long as that remains in your apps and features, you can't reinstall it because it's just going to give you that same error, no matter what app or game or program that you're trying to run. Here's the solution. Essentially, this is like removing a sticker that's been on something for years and years. You pull that sticker off and it's left behind this nasty residue. Well, that's what's happened with these files. The drive was removed but you've got that nasty residue of those files still there in your registry, uh, on your main hard drive, hidden away in local cache folders. Here's how we get rid of them. Right-click on your desktop, go to New, and do Shortcut. And th the reason we're doing the shortcut is that way you've always got this accessible on your desktop. You can remove it later and put it somewhere else if you want, but we're doing this for now so you've got quick access to it. So we're going to do a shortcut, and you type in appwiz.cpl hit next name it whatever you feel like naming it like get rid of old crap I honestly don't care I'm just going to leave it at appwiz it has a generic icon to it but it's actually the appwiz control panel entry so when we double click on it you'll see it looks a lot like the add or remove programs but there's a slight difference on this one so we're going to go all the way down here, ignore all this crap that I've got installed. I've got a lot of hard drives on this thing. Open shot video editor. That's what I'm having trouble with. Let's uninstall. An error occurred while trying to uninstall open shot video editor. It may have already been uninstalled. Would you like to remove open shot video editor from the programs and features list? Yes. Poof. Like magic. It's just gone. Not there. Now, let's rerun the installer for it. Sorry, and uh, the black screens that you see are honestly just whenever you run a program and it gives you that initial black screen and then pops up with the administrator privileges crap. Nothing I can do about that. We're going to select the language. I accept. Oh, look! This time it's going to give me the option to select a drive. We'll create a desktop icon. Install. Lucky, lucky, tookie, tookie. You can now install your programs no matter what they are. If you had to remove a drive or you're getting this stupid freaking error, use appwiz.cpl. Don't do any of the other long, complicated bull crap. Go here, get it done, get it reinstalled, get back to your life. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and stick around.